Hey everyone, in this quick video here I want to talk about how to back up and restore the HT access file um, using the all-in-one WP security plugin. So the first thing you want to do, um, head over to settings after you install and activate the plugin. And then see across the top here you click on HT access file. And from here you can just simply click that button to back it up. And it'll put a copy the contents of it right in the root of your website in htaccess underscore backup dot txt file so you can save that to your computer and now you have a backup of of your htaccess file and right near the bottom of this page here you'll see the entire contents of that file so now it's backed up so that just in case um, anything gets gets messed up we can restore that file so now I'll go through the process of restoring it you simply click on this button here select your HD access file and then it uses the WordPress uh, media uploader so we just click on select files and we have to grab the same file that we we had previously downloaded which is right here so I'll double click that and scroll to the bottom click insert into post and what that'll do is just put the entire path right in here and then we click on restore HD access file there and now it's the message shows it was restored. Now, in the event that we cannot access the dashboard to restore that file, um, all we have to do we can we can go right through FTP. So let me minimize this here, and I'll show you I have the file here. Now we can restore if we already have a backup. We can restore that file to the server through FTP, but first we have to rename it. So we'll go to. I'm going to open it up in TextPad and let me close this here one way to open it I'm gonna open the textpad program first and then I'll go to open and I can open it that way either way um, now what I want to do now is click on file save as and then I can make sure that depends on the text editor um, it might default at all files. If not, make sure it says all files. And then what we're going to do is call it HT access, but we're going to put a dot at the very front of the file. So dot HT access. I click on save. And I can close this. Now I have this HT access file on my computer. So that needs to be uploaded to the root of the website in order to restore it. So I can open up file manager. I mean, sorry, um, F my FTP program. And then right in here, I can overrate that file with this one here. Now, if I didn't have a fresh copy, of course, I can log in and download a copy from here. And if I needed to modify this file for whatever reason, I can right click it and open with uh, whatever text editor I'm working with. In this case, TextPad. And if I wanted to remove all the firewall rules, because um, sometimes the firewall rules can conflict with some of the plugins that are installed on the website. So if that's the case, then we all have to do is lo log in. I mean, I'm open this file here and I'm locate the begin all in one WP security line. So I can highlight that all the way down to. There's going to be an end all in one WC WP security right there. So I can click that. I can delete that section. So then I'm just left with the WordPress stuff and I just gotta click on save and then I can re-upload that file to the server and then overwrite it and then none of the um, the firewall none of the firewall rules will exist in there and then that could help me gain, regain access to my website if I wasn't able to access because of those rules and that's all there is to it thanks for watching